Once upon a time, in a picturesque village nestled among the rolling hills of France, lived a young woman named Isabel. Her radiant smile could brighten the gloomiest of days, and her heart was as warm as the golden sunsets that painted the sky over her village. One balmy summer afternoon, as Isabel was wandering through endless fields of lavender, she spotted a man sitting alone on a nearby hill. He appeared lost in thought, his gaze fixed on the distant horizon. Intrigued, Isabel decided to approach him. The man turned to her, surprise and a warm smile gracing his face. His name was Marco, and he had journeyed all the way from Italy to explore the enchanting French countryside. Isabel was drawn to his deep brown eyes and the poetic Italian accent that colored his speech. They spent the evening chatting and laughing beneath a canopy of twinkling stars. Marco revealed himself as a talented writer, his words weaving stories that transported Isabel to far-off places. In return, Isabel's boundless enthusiasm for life enchanted Marco. Days melted into weeks, and Isabel and Marco's connection deepened. They explored idyllic French villages hand in hand, while Marco shared dreams of traveling the world with Isabel as his queen. Their love was undeniable, and it was clear that destiny had brought them together. But the day of separation arrived, as Marco had to return to Italy. Tearfully, Isabel stood at the airport, bidding him farewell. Promises of staying in touch couldn't ease the heartache of parting. Over the ensuing months, Isabel and Marco poured their hearts into letters, sharing their deepest thoughts on paper. They talked for hours on the phone, their voices bridging the divide between France and Italy. Each night, they gazed upon the same moon, feeling the unbreakable connection that transcended borders. Despite the distance, their love grew stronger. Marco surprised Isabel with visits to France, and they'd reunite passionately amidst the lavender fields where their love first blossomed. The scent of lavender became a cherished symbol of their enduring love. Years passed, and Isabel and Marco faced the trials of a long-distance relationship with unwavering devotion. They celebrated birthdays and anniversaries through video calls, and they'd often travel to each other's arms. Their love letters transformed into a journal, then a box, chronicling the story of their love. One fateful day, an email reached Marco with an offer to travel to France for an extended writing project. It was a dream come true, and he accepted without hesitation. Isabel was overjoyed when she heard the news, and finally, their love would bridge the gap. Marco arrived in France, and their embrace was filled with a sense of reuniting after a lifetime apart. They settled into a cozy cottage surrounded by fields of lavender, as if nature itself celebrated their love. Together, they explored the picturesque villages they had once only dreamt of visiting, and began planning their future. Isabel and Marco's love story stood as a testament to the power of love, without borders. Their love had conquered separation, time zones, and countless obstacles. Through it all, they learned that love, when nurtured with patience and devotion, could overcome even the greatest of distances. And so, Isabel and Marco lived happily ever after, their love story inspiring all who heard it. It was a reminder that love could surmount any obstacle, no matter how vast the space between two hearts. What a beautiful and heartwarming love story. Isabel and Marco's journey is indeed a testament to the enduring power of love and the strength of their connection. Their story serves as an inspiring reminder that love can overcome any distance or obstacle when fueled by patience, devotion, and unwavering commitment. May their love continue to flourish and inspire others to believe in the magic of love without borders. That is the end of our video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.